fed me. Lord fed me, took care of me. Come on, buddy. Watched over me. And uh, this little fellow was born. I believe it was back in December or whatever sometime. And, his, and the mother rejected him and, and I became mom. Come on, buddy. And, uh, you know, I, I've not had to hold him or hold him back or or whatever to, to keep him. He's content by when he's by my side. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, just, front, I just had to do this. Here, it's John chapter 10. Well, front, it says, Verily I say unto you that he that entereth by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he that entereth by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter opened the and the open and the, the sheep hear his voice. He calleth his own sheep by name and and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Thank God. Richard, holler for him, see if he can get him come to you. What's his name? She. Come over here, sheep. <laughs> Come over here, sheep. I won't hurt you. I won't hurt you. Come over here. I won't hurt you. Bailey, how about you back there? Just holler, hey, sheep. Listen now. Pay close attention. And a stranger they will not follow, but will flee from him. They know not the voice of strangers. This parable spake Jesus unto them, but they understood not. When I saw that, I wanted to bring him in here. Yeah. So you would understand. Then said Jesus unto them, Again, verily I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. The sheep did not hear him. I am the door. By me, if any man enter, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and destroy. I have come that they may not find that life, and they may have it more abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for his sheep. But he that is in and hireling, and not the shepherd, whose own the sheep are not, seeth the wolf coming, and leaveth the sheep, and fleeth. And the wolf catches them, and scattereth the sheep. The hireling fleeth, because he is a hireling, and careth not for his sheep. I want to thank my God for taking care of me, and I want to be like this little fellow. We yeah. was getting ready this morning. And I was in the the bathroom and he was following I couldn't get ready, he was following me. And I put him outside and I shut the door. And he came to the door and was calling at it, wanting to be with me. Yeah. And that's how I want to be with the Lord. Yeah. 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 I just want to give him praise. Yeah. And I hope yeah. somebody yeah. was touched this morning. If you hear God's voice yeah. and and he's asking you to come, listen to him. Because he loves you. He wants to care for you. He wants to be there for you. He wants you to be his sheep, and he wants to be your shepherd. Yeah. I love the Lord. Chris, while we're singing this chorus, while we're singing this chorus, I just want you to walk all over the place. It amazed me how that when you stood still, he stood still. Yeah. When you moved, he moved. Thank God for everything. There's a song that this wraps it all up. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. Thank you, Lord.
Will you be stretched and glow? Listen, do you believe this? He will give me grace and glory. Father, we come before you this hour. Somebody wants so bad, Lord, to reach out to you. Somebody wants so bad to come to this altar. That's all they want in life, Lord, is to talk to you. We understand, Lord, I was one, there's many in the building this morning that wanted so bad to come to the altar but just couldn't come. Somebody's wanting to say I just want to be a sheep. I just want to be your sheep. Friend, I ask you this morning that you would just Reach out to him, reach out to him. He's passing your way. He's not asking a whole lot of you. He's just asking you to be just exactly what we've witnessed this morning. He's wanting you to be his sheep that will follow him. Can you say right now, Lord, I ask you into my heart and my life, and I ask you, Lord, to save me. I'm tired of being lost. I'm tired of living a life of turmoil. Lord, I want into your fold. I want you to receive me into your fold. I'm claiming you as my shepherd, as my Lord, as my Savior. I'm confessing that I've sinned, that I've failed. But I don't think you're worried about that. All you're worried about is my future. So Heavenly Father, take me into your fold and secure my future through your grace and your mercy and your love. In Jesus' name I pray. Every head still bowed and every eye is closed. Say, Brother Richard, I, I'm in the fold now. I call on the chief shepherd. He's taken me into his fold. You want to lift your hand up good and high and say, I'm in the fold, preacher. I got in the fold this morning. Richard, I didn't, but I wanted to, and I need to, and I would ask you as every head's bowed and every eye's closed, I would ask you in the church to remember me in prayer. Could you slip your hand up and say, remember me, bless you, somebody else. Somebody else just say, bless your heart. Pray for me, pray for me. Bless the Lord. All right. Come on, kids.